Earlier this week, court-appointed lawyers said they have been unable to find the parents of 545 children who were separated at the U.S. border with Mexico early in the Trump administration under a zero-tolerance policy to criminally prosecute every adult who entered the country illegally from Mexico. Mr. Negron, do you support an explicit prohibition on family separation at the border? And what is your broader plan to make sure that U.S. policies on immigration do not end up hurting families? Um, great question, Sharice. And as you do know, you know my, my grandfather came here from Mexico. Um, and so anytime that you separate um, a, a legitimate family from their kids, that's wrong. But we now know with, with, with lots of empirical data that a lot of these smugglers and a lot of these, these people that are bringing kids in across the country, they're not their children. Um, they're using them as an opportunity to, to use them as pawns to get into this country. You know, part of that story, too, is, is that, you know, some of those parents, they have connected and they don't want to be reconnected with their children because they probably weren't their children to begin with. So I believe that we have to look at a whole holistic look at look at what's happening with immigration. Um, you know, I'm a parent of three beautiful children. Nobody should be split from their, their parents at all under any circumstance. But it's important to note, you know, that this is a policy that was just enforced um, by this current administration. It was a policy that was actually put in place in the previous administration. So, you know, those situations, if there's a way that we can make sure that we control the borders, protect this country and allow people to come in the right way, then we should do that. Absolutely. Representative Custer, yesterday the Justice Department said federal prosecutors have charged 127 suspected members of the violent MS-13 street gang this year. Six face life sentences after being convicted. Reports say that although many gang members were born in the U.S., MS-13 recruits young teenagers from El Salvador and Honduras. What policies can Congress implement to reduce the flow of gang members into the U.S. and take more expedient action to disrupt leaders of MS-13? based in Central America from coordinating criminal activities here in the U.S.? Well, I think the prosecution proves that our laws are sufficient for uh, prosecuting these individuals, and I support that. Let me go back to the 545 children that were separated, because I think this is pure evil. And I didn't hear Mr. DeGrand say that he objects to this. I think this is not Christian. It's not American. I went to the border twice. I met with these women. I know that they were their children. The group of women that I met with, there were nursing mothers whose babies had been snatched from them by ICE when they went into detention. This is not the American way. I think we should have a pathway to citizenship. I think we should have compassionate laws, and we should make sure that we track down the parents of every single one of these 545 children. It's a human rights violation right here in the United States. Mr. Negron, you invoked 30 seconds. Absolutely. You know, and, and I think, Congresswoman, you should go to Manchester and talk to um, some of the immigrants that are there or go to Nashville and talk to them there. To go down to the border um, under the heat, you know, for a photo op, I think is the wrong thing to do. And we now know that that situation, human trafficking is such a huge deal, but we, we put our heads in the sand and we don't want to acknowledge it. These people will use children to come across the, the border. And like I said, if it's a legitimate family, which was my very first statement, then we shouldn't do that. But we now know, and I actually talked to Mr. Tom Homan on Friday, that that situation has decreased because of the wall and because of the immigration status that we're now giving our ICE enforcement agencies the right to do the right thing. Brief response. I absolutely have spoken with immigrants and refugees in uh, Nashua and across my district, and I know that they want a pathway to citizenship. They want to become American citizens. They're working very, very hard here, and I'm simply stating my moral view of the world that this is unconscionable, what the Trump administration and Stephen Miller, he used Use this policy to threaten families, and I think it's wrong, and that's why President Trump should be defeated on November 3rd. Next